I'd like to give your dad a police escort the rest of the way home, if you're okay with it. He deserves it. Yes, sir. All right. Follow me, then? Yeah. thinking on the drive over here how much of Riverdale my dad built or just fixed up if I'm lucky enough to have a son or a daughter of my own I'll be able to point to a building or even just a brick in a building and say your grandpa made that with his hands until my dad came home with all these fireworks I mean, enough to, to burn a house down. You remember that, Mom? <laughs> and, uh... We lit them in the backyard. It was just, it was the best night. But his spirit and his memory lives on. In this town and everyone he's met. Fred Andrews will always be a part of Riverdale. By Mrs. Andrews? I, I didn't want her paying for any of this. No, by your father. He paid the bill in full. You what? You could start with the facts. That he was born at Riverdale General Hospital. That his parents were Arthur and Virginia Andrews, that he led the Riverdale High baseball team to two consecutive state championships. Town saw a pariah and closed its doors. Fred saw a lost soul and opened his. There was always room at his table, in his home, for others. Whenever our town was under attack, Fred was on the front line fighting for it, to fell armor, and by the way, he was a hell of a good tipper. <laughs> Damn right he was. Fred left Riverdale better than when he found it. That's his legacy.
That was such a beautiful episode. Just like beginning to end, just a beautiful way to remember Fred Andrews, obviously, because this episode dealt with his death, but also you could feel the farewell to Luke as well. It was definitely evident. Um, and just any time they're talking about it, you can see that Luke's death and passing is still so fresh because that made this episode so much more authentic as well. Because, yeah, they're, they're, they weren't acting in this episode. I, I feel like the only thing they were acting was things that they had to say, their emotions and their feelings and all that was just pure and real and it it came, it showed like it made it more powerful and I'm so glad that they did this type of thing instead of just saying like he died off screen and whatnot like I'm really appreciative that they did do this memorial episode and that as well they didn't link anything into the rest of the season like this was a standalone episode the focus was the focus there was no previously on Riverdale there was no little teaser for the rest of the season it was just this and I really really liked that you know I think it might have taken away from the episode if they had that little bit of previously or that little bit of finger drops of like the rest of the season mind you yeah would have loved to see what we are in store for and find out a little bit more about that flash forward type thing. But at the same time, I really respect that it was kept the same. And we just basically use episode two as the start of the main story of the season. But so far, so so far, like so far this season, I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm going to wait till next week to see if we're going to go down this rabbit hole of crazy Riverdale fashion. But this was one of, if not the best episode of Riverdale. Just hands down. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, make sure you hit a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Make sure to click subscribe so you are going to get informed anytime I post a Riverdale reaction or if you watch any of the others. Like, it's a good idea just to subscribe, you know? But, um, I think that is all I got and whew, we need to, like, just go wash my face because it's streaming down in tears <laughs> but it was worth it anyway